Always remember to pre-tin your, your soldering iron. Pre-tin the tip. Make sure everything's all right. Now the best way to desolder is you get your desoldering tip ready, uh, a vacuum. You just add a little heat and some fresh solder. See that? Just just keep it hot for a second. Alright, so after you're done reflowing, re-soldering, and you know, vacuuming off the old solder, add some old stuff right there. You just pull off the, it should pull off, it should look like that. Ooh, some of the solder, okay, some of it didn't, some of the PCB, the original PCB broke off. I mean, it's kind of an L. I gotta get better at soldering. <clears throat> Grab our screwdriver. Finish taking off the rest of the motherboard. So for now, we're going to just take off all the auxiliary buttons. This is what it looks like. Dismantled. Blah, 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 blah. Pretty much Sanwa knockoffs, but a little bit better than Hori, but not as close as the, the real thing. Take off the top plate. Get yourself a 7mm socket. Just undo the four, the five bolts on the case. And you see those little tabs right here. Pop it out and then scooping motion like that. And boom, that's the panel. You peel anything off of uh, metal, you know, with adhesive and everything. But we're gonna go the easy route and get yourself a, a nice heat gun, you know. 20 bucks or less, your local hardware store.
We're going to spend a lot of time spraying some goof off. Now for the next step, what you're going to want to do after you clean everything up, you're going to want to get yourself a rotary tool with a, uh, a cutting tip and get yourself uh, a rounded file. So it's, it's, a, it's a half circle if you look at it through, you see the shape of it is a half circle. So. Clean everything up. You get off. You know. You clean up all the adhesive and everything. Um, I'm okay with it being a little scratchy. Don't worry about it. We got art for it. So, you, what you're gonna do is, what you're gonna do is, put on, you know, two random screws, whatever. Just secure it. Secure it back to the body. You know, so we have something firm to hold it on. All right, so using the same method we did to drill the buttons into the um, the steel plate for the plastic fitting, we just did the same thing, but just very I'm lightly. Going to slide that over. And you see, voila, perfect fit, just like that. All you gotta do is just take off the mountain plate. So what we're gonna do is just flip it. And then boom, there goes the lever. Sneak peek of what it's gonna look like. Metallic style. All right, we're double checking with the um, the guide on um, arcade shock. We got. Everything. Mission complete. Let's go!